Okay. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Ricardo Marvão. I'm founder and executive director of Singularity U Portugal. And um, I was coming here and thinking uh, what to tell you. And I think I'm going to tell you a story. So um, in August of last year, I had a dream. And the dream was to bring Singularity to Portugal. Now, this started with a conversation with uh, our founders at, uh, at PTE. And we did the first trip to, to the US and basically to understand what is Singularity and everything, all the details about doing a partnership with Singularity. I came back and the first person I contacted, I met, was Miguel Pintluch from uh, Cascais municipality. And in 15 minutes, he said, let's do this. So the day after, he calls me and says, uh, Ricardo, I just had a chat with Pedro Santa Clara. You have to meet because I think you guys should do this together. And in two days, basically, we decided, okay, let's do this at three. And it makes total sense to have an innovation company, a university, and a municipality to bring in Singularity to Portugal. It's been an amazing year, and we've done a lot of stuff. Just for you to have a glimpse of uh, what this journey was, we went to a lot of countries because we wanted also to understand what were the experience of other countries doing this partnership with Singularity, bringing as much information as possible, not inventing the wheel again. And, um, and after that, uh, we, we decided to create our plan, our vision, and we did a lot of meetings with a lot of you. And we went to, I think between December and January of last year, I counted at least about 50 meetings with boards or CEOs. Uh, and I took my dear friend, Fernand, that I didn't know, uh, and we met in Copenhagen when Pedro Santa Clara said, you have to go there, check it out. And, and I have to say, today, I have my wife on the number one list on the phone, and Fernand is number two. Um, but it was, it was an amazing year, and those 50 meetings, we had three meetings that were amazing. The first one was with Steven. Steven from Agias, and I remember the first meeting, he completely destroyed me. And, uh, and the second meeting, he took me to the moon, became our first partner. And the second meeting with, was with Paul Pisano from Galp. And that meeting was like, we went, I went for a 20-minute talk, and we stayed for two hours talking about everything. And the second meeting with him was like, so uh, we're going to do this. I said, what do you mean? Uh, we're going to go forward with it? Yeah. And I said, that's it? That's it? OK. And the third was actually a combination with uh, João Castel Branco from Semapa and Diogo da Silveira, two amazing meetings. And they became our third founding partner. All these meetings um, and all these partnerships are what Singularity U Portugal is. Now, uh, taking that aside, and we're here in an event, a two-day event, and I guess you saw the hashtag. The hashtag says, what about tomorrow? And, and the hashtag has two connotations. One is, of course, when you think about what about tomorrow, you think about the future. And you think about what will be the future in the 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But it's actually also about what about tomorrow? Tomorrow, when you finish the summit and you were inspired and you go back to your work, and your life, and your meetings, and your budgets, and your reforecastings, and everything that happens that basically remove this inspiration of two days, and the normal day life happens again. So this is not what we wanted. And we had a long-term vision for Singularity Portugal. And that is why we wanted to make this every day. So that is why we are starting today a Singularity U Portugal country partnership. 
That means everything that Singularity does in California, we're going to do here. And we're going to bring all the faculty, and we even trained our own faculty so that we have local faculty here. During the summer, we trained 10 faculties to be already here as local faculties, and the idea is every year to grow this faculty. Now, you might say, OK, so when is this going to happen? And actually, it starts tomorrow. Because if it's what about tomorrow, then we better start tomorrow. And for us, it's very important that from day one, we can present and we can show the programs and the, the faculty and all the things we can do with Singularity Portugal. But this is not about only helping your organizations uh, or helping your employees or your, or, uh, your leadership. It's more than that. Singularity Portugal needs to be a vision for not only your organizations, but our cities, our country. How can we push forward our country so that we have areas of knowledge where we can focus and be leaders in the world? Why can't Portugal have two, three areas where we can really define and then have everyone come here? If you want to learn about a certain topic that we're really focusing on and you're in Canada or Australia, you're going to come to Portugal because here is where you have the best faculty. Here is where you have the best content. And if you look again at what this combination is, an innovation company, a university, a municipality, and three corporations, this means we can do this not only in a longer term, but really go deep into these topics. So, and I want to challenge all of you to be part of this movement, of this platform. This is going to be the start of something that we believe will change Portugal and will bring a lot of value to the country. So for that, we created a, a small video that we wanted to share with you. And uh, by the way, if you want to learn more information, uh, if you give me one second. So you're going to get now the information on our brand new website uh, for Singularity Portugal that basically will have a lot of a breadth of information. And the, the, the launch of the website was just now. So I'm going to put the video right now. Thank you. Being a city hall that is on the forefront of thinking how our community will evolve and how, what is the, the role of a city hall in all of this and how can we provide for a better future and thinking also in the future of democracy, in the future of building the city with our citizens. Um, so we, we really have to think about these subjects as uh, a way to, to create opportunities to the future. I believe that it is the mission, at least for Singularity University in Portugal, to wake up the country of Portugal and all the, the different companies and make them aware of what's happening in the world and that they have to wake up and speed up if they want to survive in their own businesses. It's basically um, really bringing um, a sense of urgency, a sense of change to people in Portugal, to organizations in Portugal, to corporates, because it's an opportunity to, to, um, to be in contact with, uh, with um, uh, a very broad uh, uh, network, uh, to be uh, exposed to uh, the most advanced uh, um, technologies, to know what's going on in the world. So it's a unique opportunity uh, for, for, uh, for people to, to get a step ahead. What I see in terms of opportunity is learning together, fundamentally. We all are in a learning curve. I think when you're in a learning curve, out of your comfort zone, you are 
humble. And if you're humble, you learn more, you can do more. So there's, there's a lot of focus coming to Portugal. A lot of people are coming into the country for a number of different reasons. And I think Singularity University will be an important contribution to that. I think uh, there's an opportunity to engage with more people, to engage with society. I think the very nature of how we're building this partnership with a municipality, with a university, with an innovation company and three partners is on itself a good example of collaboration, of blurring of the boundaries of learning together and I think that's going to be very powerful for the country. Portugal in Europe and the world but we are in Portugal we're a global organization but we really feel that it's important it's critical to change the, the mindset of people as fast as possible it's critical to make the, the future happen as uh, the, the best possible so we are change makers and we are actors of change and I think we see in singularity a huge potential for that and I think governance is probably one of the biggest challenges that we face in a growing complexity world and yeah, maybe being small and humble and neutral I think we might have some contribution we proudly see um, um, potential on not only inspiring people through the summits and through these you know inspiration talks that we will bring to the country but more than that throughout the partners and the corporate partners we see we, we can be useful to help them think about how their businesses will evolve how society is in need of different solutions and I think similar to bring this not only to our partners, to corporates in general, to decision makers, to politicians, to NGOs, to those that are leading the way and need to be inspired. So I see a huge potential of inspiring the Portuguese society. I believe we can inspire the country that is economically performing reasonably well to incorporate new solutions and new technologies and transform some of those um, traditional industries and make it even more profitable for their owners, but even better, giving value back to society and having a better society. So, welcome. Welcome to Singularity Portugal and enjoy the day. <laughs>